Hi guys, welcome back to another moving vlog. So an update since we last chatted, we pretty much brought everything up to the apartment um, that we needed to bring up. We're pretty much all settled in with everything that we already had, um, but we still have a ton of shopping to do for furniture and just like random things like a toaster and a microwave and all of like the necessities you need to just like make it a home, I guess. So we have a ton of work to do still. So yesterday we actually went furniture shopping for the first time in person. We've been doing a ton of online shopping, um, but we wanted to kind of go in person and touch and feel things and see everything in real life just because it's a lot better to do that just so you know what you're gonna get. Um, so we just went to see what our options were and we actually didn't think we were gonna buy anything, but we ended up purchasing two items in store and one item online yesterday. So we're making some good progress. Um, I filmed a little bit of it, but we honestly couldn't really film in those stores because it was very <coughs> quiet and like, I don't think you were allowed to film in the stores honestly, so I didn't really film much, but I'll insert the footage that I got from yesterday right here. Okay, so we just got to the first furniture store and me and Steven are looking for a bed that's like super low to the ground. We like like that like Japanese style. Like, is that what he said? It's like a Japanese style kind of. Well, yeah, um, just have a mess. Yeah, I just think it's yeah. like really cool. But anyways, this is kind of like what we're looking for. Obviously not in the wood, but we like how like low to the ground it is, but we want it in all white, so. We're just looking around to see what the options they have, but like this is the style we want. Just like, obviously like in leather or like a velvet and low to the ground and white. <laughs> yeah, so not that. So like pretty much, so pretty much like this couch, this couch is like material and color, but in like this like bedding. So pretty much looking for like this kind of vibe, like super low to the ground, um, upholstered maybe, or like leather and then all white. Or honestly this one. It's like even lower. Or that, yeah, such a yeah. cool vibe. We like that. So we're looking at their options. We found one that we liked online. Um, yeah, we found that one that we liked on their website, so we might order it, but it we're gonna just up, check our options. It might take up the whole room, though. Yeah, it's gonna be really it's pretty big. big. But I think they're really cute, and we really like it. And it's honestly a super affordable price. I think it's like, I don't know how much it is, but. Okay, you guys, I found the cutest chair. And it is so what I was looking for and it's like so crazy that it's literally right here um, The only thing is it ships within like a month. So it's gonna take a little while to get here, but do you like it? It's dope. Take it. Take a seat See I how you like it. You could wear a Sherpa jacket and then you would like blend it. Yeah, I think it's a cool chair. I like it a lot it was like a dog. I think it looked really good in the living room. Steven also really wants a plant yeah, this one looks like a plant. but we still have to decide which one because plants can be very, a lot of work. A, it can be a lot of work. Like a banana leaf. Yeah. We'll find one. Yeah, that was all the footage that I got from yesterday, but we pretty much ended up getting that like sheep shearling chair, which I showed you guys on Instagram, which is so cute. I'll have a photo of it here. And then we also ended up getting a bed frame which is just like plain white and like low to the ground, which is what we wanted. Um, so we ordered that, which it's all gonna come mid-March. So you guys will obviously see that when it comes and I'll show you guys how we like decorate and stuff. But we got those two things and we actually ended up getting a mirror, which is like the mirror of my dreams, you guys. I've been wanting it for so long. But the catch is it doesn't even ship to Canada, which is so sabotage. So I actually got it shipped to Blaine, Washington, which is like right over the border. And me and Steven are gonna have to hire a U-Haul again, like a big truck and go pick it up over the border to bring it up to Canada, which is kind of psycho. But I wanted this mirror so bad and that's like the only way I can get it. So we ordered it to Washington and we're actually gonna have to go pick that up sometime when it ships, which again, I think that's also gonna ship mid-March as well. So all of our furniture should be in this apartment by like mid to end of March, which is really exciting because that's pretty soon, honestly, for furniture, even though we still have to wait a couple weeks. So yeah, that is the update on our furniture so far. Today, like I said, we're gonna go do some shopping for some basics that you need like in your kitchen, like a microwave, etc. So I'll take you guys along for that. Um, and I think this vlog is just gonna be some furniture shopping and some shopping for other things to fill out our apartment and just kind of film what we get. So, so yeah, we are about to head out now um, and we will see you guys when we get there. Okay, so first thing we're doing today is actually picking up some bar stools. Steven found some bar stools on Craigslist. 
um, which are brand new, super cute, kind of what we were looking for. We didn't really have like an idea of what we wanted for bar stools. We just knew that we wanted them to be a little bit different and not so like cookie cutter basic, if you know what I mean. So these are like super cool and kind of retro and vintage looking. Um, they're all white, which is just what we wanted. Um, so Steven, stunning queen, found them on Craigslist. Killed it. He killed it. I killed it. Um, so we're gonna go pick those up now. Hopefully they're good in person. But that's like a great tip for you guys if you're moving out and you're trying to save some money, you don't wanna break the bank, check Craigslist because Steven and I were on Craigslist last night and we found some really cool things and like we have been throughout the move and there's always some really cool unique pieces on Craigslist or like any type of like resell um, website it's just like a really good idea to find like affordable things sometimes it's even brand new so you're getting something brand new for like half or like half less than half of the price um, so yeah anyways we're gonna go pick those up now hopefully they're good in person I'll show you guys um, when we get them so these are the chairs we think they're so cute they're all white um, just little bar stools. We only got two because obviously it's just the two of us at the house or at the apartment But I'll show you guys what they really look like when we get back. <laughs> it's hard to tell <laughs> Okay, so we just got back and this is what the bar stools look like um, In the kitchen. We think they look super cute. They're definitely um, A different texture to what the rest of our furniture is gonna look like over here So we thought it'd be fun to kind of play with metals and texture and we really wanted all white uh, bar stools so these were ones that we found that we thought were really cute and all white to match the all white kitchen because I wanted to keep everything neutral um, and I didn't want to have like silver chairs or metal chairs or anything so like metal or gold or <laughs> silver or gold I wanted an all white so I think they're super cute um, for now anyways but um, at least we have something to sit on <laughs> from now on because we were sitting on our bed for everything and standing up while eating so it's good for now anyways good morning guys so it has been a few days since i last picked up the vlog camera for this moving vlog um but from what i remember the last thing i updated you guys on was kind of the furniture that we picked out so far um and i also talked to you guys about the bar stools that we got and i showed you guys them um but i think that's where i last vlogged but since then honestly we've just been getting some work done and kind of getting ourselves back into a routine and like reality um and now that we're kind of fully moved in but we still don't have any furniture other than the bar stools which is so sabotaged because we have nowhere to sit honestly and it's just like not even cute but we actually are going furniture shopping today um since we last spoke we actually have done a ton of furniture shopping like we've gone in store but just nothing has really caught our eye or nothing really stuck so we haven't purchased anything that's why i haven't been vlogging the past few days because it's kind of been a fail not gonna lie but that's the reality of moving out and like furnishing your apartment it just doesn't always happen super fast so that's why i just didn't find the need to kind of pick up my vlog camera but i'm picking it back up today because we're actually going furniture shopping again but we actually have picked out the pieces already that we want to go see so i think it's going to be successful so that's why i'm bringing my vlog camera back out also another update pippa's here now which you guys already know on instagram stories but she hasn't been in any of the vlogs because she moved in a little bit later than us her move-in date was a few days ago, but she's getting very comfortable and she's loving the space. Here, I'll show you her. Yeah, she's getting super comfortable. The first day, she was like hiding in the closet and like super skittish, but now she's chilling and walking around and treating this apartment like her kingdom, as she should. So yeah, that is kind of the update on the apartment so far. Um, on the last clip, oh, we got a vacuum. Guys, Oh yeah, we got a vacuum. Yeah, that's that's so, huge. That's so exciting. I can't believe I forgot that. Cause like when Pippa got here, she had so much furry guys, oh and it was just going everywhere. It was so, so sabotage. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we got a Dyson, you guys. Which also, if you follow on Instagram, you already know that. But I took all of your guys' advice, and we went for the Dyson. We're so excited about it. Um, I started vacuuming last night the moment we got it and it was charged up, so very exciting day. Yeah, that is kind of the update. Um, the furniture store that we're going to, um, I think we're gonna be getting a couch with them, so hopefully it all works out. Um, and yeah, I'll take you guys along for that. And we'll see you when we get there. 
Okay, so we just got to the furniture store. It's called Carre Vancouver. So it's the store based here in Vancouver, obviously. Um, and it's our first time in here checking out the furniture that we saw online. And we really love it. It's such a cool store, you guys. Um, and I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that we're thinking about. Um, we're gonna have to go back and like measure everything. So we got the measurements for all the pieces we like. Um, so we're gonna have to go back to the apartment and like measure it all. But I thought I'd show you guys here on the vlog what we're thinking of. So the first thing I'm looking at is this love seat. I think it's so cool for my office. I don't know, I love the color, I love the vibe of it. It's very like Parisian. I think it's just really cool and I think I could like edge it up and make it very minimalistic still but also have kind of that, I don't know, glam in my office because it's kind of like an, a cloth-office, like closet office I guess. So I don't know, I really like it. Obviously I'll style it differently without those things but thought that was really cute and then another thing I really liked is this couch and it is this PFG couch it's so cute comes with a matching chair but I don't think I'm gonna have the space for all of that so I'd probably just do like either a love seat or a couch um, my office isn't the biggest space so like I said yeah I'll probably just do a mini like two-seater couch or a love seat because um, I don't want to like take up the whole room with furniture you wanna come see the couch with me? Yeah, you can go test it. out the comfortness, of, the comfortness, the comfiness of the couch. Um, and then if we go over here, um, there's a couch that we really like. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the first option for the couch. We love it. It's just really big. Let me show you guys how, how it's done. Okay, Steven, test it out. How do we like it? Super comfortable. We just want to make sure that the color like works with our apartment. So we really like it though. It's like super comfortable and I feel like everyone's going to like sitting on it. Um, and yeah, Pippa's going to love it. The only thing is we really like this other couch. Um, I'll insert a photo here because they don't have it in store, but it's this like white plush couch and it is so cool. But the only thing is, yeah, and it turns into a bed, but the only thing is it's just like not as comfortable as this couch. So we're just struggling between like wanting to like have a cool vibe going on and like have like an art piece of a couch um, or having like a super comfortable couch for like people to sit on and like enjoy. So that's the struggle right now. I'm gonna have to go back and like measure everything, but we really do like this option. We just think it's like really big. So I don't know how well it's gonna fit in our living space. Like it doesn't look that big here because this place is like Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like it doesn't, yeah, bigger. it's gonna look a lot bigger in the apartment. We're gonna have to, we got all the measurements. Steven got them, got the measurements. So we're gonna measure um, everything when we get back. I also am in love with this couch, but it's just the wrong color because we're going for more of like neutrals and this is just like too dark of a brown. Um, but, oh hey. But yeah, I'm just like obsessed with the style of this couch. Like if it was white, that would be the couch. That's such a sick couch. I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, it's such a cool store, you guys. If you're in Vancouver, definitely check it out. Um, I'll have the name of the store, obviously in the description um but it's so cool honestly it's subtle flex but okay i think we could do it no that would scare pippa <laughs> yeah that couch is cool too the only thing is we don't want gray we're going for like warm tones not cool tones yeah we love the shape of it should we ask if it comes in white or does it not come in white it's really cool like I know that's size. so sick and it's actually really comfortable. Why don't you go ask him? Wait, maybe we'll check if it's comfortable. Yeah, this one's so sick, dude. Yeah, I love that You could film yourself sitting on it It actually is comfortable it's Actually very comfortable The infinity sofa with ottoman Ottoman, ottoman Oh, that's not even for the couch, see that's an extension Oh, then that should definitely fit. Well, we get the also, another couch that I really like. Obviously, it's not the colorway we're going for, but if I had like a mansion to style a ton of different rooms, I would totally get this like mustard love seat couch. I think it is such a cool shape, and it's just I'm like completely obsessed with it. <coughs> yeah, I am obsessed with it. It's so cute. Okay, guys, it is a little bit later in the night. It's like 9 or 10 p.m. at night, um, and Steven is just cooking up some 
late night pasta. It's like 11. It's like 11. P is it 11? It's 12. <laughs> midnight yeah oh my god um well we're staying up late tonight because we have to pick up nits from the airport but i just wanted to update you guys on the furniture so we actually left the place um today we really really like that store um but we just had to come home and like measure everything like we said um so we measured the living room and the brown couch actually would not fit in our living room <coughs> so um we're thinking of going with the white couch that we spoke about but all of you guys are saying that it's a beautiful couch, but it's gonna get really dirty really fast, which I totally agree. So I don't know, we're like have to think about it, I guess, and see what our options are. But we may just get some like other things from that store and then do like our couch somewhere else. I just think like the couch is the hardest part of an apartment and I feel like we really need to nail it and get it right. And I feel like it's gonna be so satisfying once we have our couch. So yeah, anyways, it's been a process and we're still not, we still don't have the final decision, but we'll keep you posted. Also, Nitz, like I said, is coming in for the weekend, and so we made a little blow-up mattress here, but um, Pippa seems to be loving it more, so she's hanging out here. Oh my God, look how cute you look. Look how cute you look. Oh my goodness. She's getting so much more comfortable here. It's so good. She's like honestly fully adapted, and I don't even think she remembers the old house. <laughs> Don't you think? No, it's like she doesn't remember that. It's like she doesn't even. Outside. Exactly. Hi. Yeah, because uh, Pippa's actually an outdoor cat, guys. So yeah. She like always used to wait at the door to try to sneak out, and she loves killing shit. So she like, loves she like killing birds and mice. So we really thought she was going to like be depressed because of like not going outside, but she seems so happy here. So you know, we'll do see. Do you guys know if like cats like forget about that stuff eventually? Like do they forget? Yeah, do cats have good memories and like, or do they just completely forget and just move on? Yeah, exactly. Anywho, I'm going to start editing this vlog right now, and then we're going to have to what go pick up this. What vlog is this, number three? This is moving vlog number three, which is just like updating everyone on furniture and stuff. So uh, It'd not, be like, sick if we actually had some furniture to show people. I like, know, I know, that was like the plan the furnished, for this, but it's kind apartment. of been a fail so far. Yo, guys, like it might take four months to get a couch. Yeah, one of the couches this we wanted was four months back order. Like that is so sabotage. We want yeah. it now. Like we want stuff now. It's so annoying how furniture takes so long. But anyways, but it's, it's, we're staying positive and we're gonna find something. We're gonna find something. Anyways. Okay, hi guys. So it has been a little bit since I last picked up my camera on this vlog, which I feel like this vlog is gonna be a lot of that because it's kind of like an update on all of the furniture and all the progress that we've made in the apartment so far. So if you can't tell, um, it's been like a week and I'm a little bit tanner than I usually am because we just got back from a trip to Arizona. But we're back now at the apartment and I thought I'd give you guys an update on what the progress is so far. So as you can probably tell behind me, I got a photo slash painting, I'm not really sure which one it is, honestly. But I got this painting from Urban Outfitters. They were so sweet and sent over a few things, including this painting, which I really, really love. I think it's so cute because we wanted, like you guys know, we want like the decor in here to be like very like Parisian and vintage looking, but we also love California and we love the palm trees and we love the West Coast and everything. So we definitely wanted to bring in some of that vibe into the apartment. So that is where this came in. Um, we're not actually going to be putting in the bedroom, I don't think, though. It's going to go somewhere else in the apartment, but it's just here for now because we have nowhere to put it right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of give you guys another little update on what the situation is here. Okay, so right now, this is the bedroom. Nothing much has changed since we last spoke, I don't think, except for obviously the painting. And then also this mirror, this gold mirror that I took from my mom's house that I had there. It's actually a vintage mirror from my grandma. So I definitely wanted to keep it in to this apartment and bring it here. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. So it's just there for right now. You guys already know the white mirror. Um, but an update on the bedding. This is our old bedding. Um, however, we just got some new bedding in, which I'll show you guys here. Um, we're actually working with Parachute, which is a stunning queen um, bedding company, and they actually do towels and everything, so they're completely getting us set up for success in our bathroom and our bedroom, so I'm so excited to be partnering with them. This video isn't sponsored or anything, I'm just showing you guys 
um, a sneak peek at that. I haven't put the bedding or anything in yet because I'm actually waiting for our bed frame to come in next week. So that is the update on the bed frame. We still are just a mattress on the floor right now, um, but we are getting our bed frame in soon. So once we get the bed frame in, I'm gonna be putting all the parachute um, bedding and linen and everything on, which would be very exciting because it's so stunning. So that's an update on the bed. For an update on the kitchen, nothing much has really changed. Like I said, it has been only like a week or so, um, but we have ordered a ton of stuff in. We just haven't um, got anything in yet, but still the same bar stools. Um, I got myself actually this laptop um, stand because my back is always killing me and I just think it's a good idea for me to be better with my posture. So I got that and I'm gonna see how that works out. Um, over there, as you can see, we got a little French press coffee maker in the meantime while we still um, find the perfect Nespresso machine or whatever brand we're gonna go with. So that is that as of right now. And then a quick update on the office. That is why I picked up my vlog camera because tonight my dad is actually coming over to install some shelves because I'm useless and Steven is still learning and is not super experienced with shelves yet. So I'm getting, I'm hiring my dad for the night to come and help me do my shelves for me. So it's gonna be my shoe wall. So I'll show you guys the before. So pretty much I got all of these um, floating shelves at Ikea, which is such a life hack because they're so affordable. Um, and I'm gonna get them all up this wall here. So it's just gonna be a huge shoe wall. And then I think I'm gonna do like a desk here. And then I have my clothing rack and like filming wall here. So this whole thing is probably gonna take up most of the wall anyways. Um, and now I'm excited because this has been like this since we moved in. It's so sabotage. It's just like my shoes are everywhere and I just wanna finally, I'm just excited to finally have storage for them and get everything organized because I think once that's up, like the rest of the room will come together, so. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, that is the update. Me and Steven just got back from our trip yesterday, so we've been cleaning up the entire apartment, getting it organized. I, as you can see, have just been cleaning all day. I just look, you know, it's fine. But I really wanted to pick up this vlog again because I've been trying to kind of document everything along the way. So this vlog might be everywhere. It might be good, I don't know. You guys let me know. But um, I've been just trying to kind of give you guys updates every few days or every week, whatever, on the progress. Yeah, anyways, I will see you guys when my dad gets here and we put in our shelves. Thinking so I have room to put a desk here. Like slightly more over, like oh, how far not over? there and like maybe like here. So let me just look from afar. Okay, it is now the morning and I didn't film anything last night with like the final result because I wanted to show you guys in like the natural daylight because it was super dark yesterday and honestly I was just so tired so we passed out. But anyways, this morning we are actually headed down to go pick up the mirror, um, the big anthropology mirror that I'm so excited about and it was one of the things in the apartment that I was really excited to purchase. Um, so it's actually funny thing is though they don't actually ship to Canada So I had to order it to a PO box down in Washington um, And we'll have to go get a U-Haul truck. Oh, sorry um, We have to go get a U-Haul truck and drive it over the border to go pick up the mirror and then drive it back up and deliver it ourselves pretty much. So it's a little bit of a challenge for a mirror But we're willing to do it because we really thought it was a really cool piece we wanted to have in our apartment so we're gonna go the extra mile, literally, to go get it. But anywho, we're about to leave for that now, but I wanted to show you guys quickly the little final result here that we got from the shelves. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks so cute. I still have some tape up there that I need to take off, but I think it looks so cute and I'm obsessed. I think it's really, really useful as well. Like it pretty much took off all of the shoes that were here on the floor. I still have a ton of shoes though that aren't gonna be on display and they're gonna be like in another dresser in the closet. Um, but for now, here I'm gonna back up a bit. 
Um, but for now, I think this looks so cute and I love it. So I'm really glad that my dad got to come over and do that for me. I was really thankful because I honestly would not have been able to do it. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. The shelves, if you're wondering, are actually from Ikea. They're like 25 bucks each, super affordable, and it looks so expensive and so chic, and I love it. It looks like it's pretty much like made to be in the wall because they're like technically floating shelves, so I don't know. I love it. Um, I'll have these shelves linked down below if you guys are interested in doing the same thing. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a whole tutorial or something about it because... I'll definitely do that on stories or something if you guys want. So yeah, this is my little outfit of the day today to go pick up the beer. I'm just wearing an oversized hoodie from Nasty Gal, and then I'm wearing my sweatpants from Reformation, my little Chanel bag, and my Air Force ones. So that is the look today to go pick up the mirror, and I'll see you guys when we get in the U-Haul. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm a guess. Don't drop it. Ah! Okay, so we just got here. The boys are outside waiting to bring the mirror in. So I'm gonna go let them in. You guys don't even know how hard that was. But we're gonna go get the mirror now. Okay, you ready, bro? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. And stop. Hold on. Uh, okay, so this yeah, I'm gonna bring it into the corner here. One. Yeah. And then you're gonna have to walk. I'm just gonna right. rotate it, yeah. So. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Go. Hold on, I have to that comb. Yeah. Okay. Running. Okay. Not too good, too good. As if. Holy shit! Holy oh, shit! Oh, I just stacked myself. He's like, oh, oh my god. Oh. Here we go. Put it down, put it down. Oh my god. As if you looked so hold funny with the because your body looks like half melted. It's not even, hold on. Whew. Yeah. Bruh. Oh. My god. Ah, oh, sorry, no, yeah. no, no, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys! And it Bro. didn't crack. Shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. You guys. Damn. You guys, it's it. Right. That was the most. You guys, that was the most stressful situation that just went down. But it is in here. It is. Finally here. Oh my god, you guys. I can't. It looks so good. You guys, look at it. Sorry about the mess. I did some pure unboxings here, but you guys, it's here. And it's stunning. Okay, guys, I'm hopping on here to end the vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. It was honestly so confusing, I feel like, for me because this was like a ton of footage compiled from the past few weeks of us just trying to get our shit together and get the apartment all set up. So hopefully this vlog was entertaining for you guys. I know you guys love the moving vlogs and I know you guys are loving all the home decor and everything about the apartment. So, so more of that is definitely coming. We're just kind of waiting on all the furniture. It just takes so long. It's so annoying. I'm like the most impatient person. So... Furniture is just not my forte. But yeah, the last clip you guys saw we were getting in the mirror and it was honestly such a stressful day and I usually am able to like take my vlog camera out and get like b-roll and get like footage of everything but it was honestly such a stressful day because it was only Steven and I and our friend Isaiah bringing the mirror up and it was just like such a challenge so I didn't even have time or didn't even think about bringing my vlog camera out. So I got a bit of footage and I got some things on my phone and everything that I could hopefully make something out of it. Um, but for the most part, I honestly didn't film that much, which is annoying because this is what the vlog was about. But as you can see, she has arrived. She's here. She made it. She's stunning. I love her. But yeah, we finally got her in here and it was such a struggle, but we made it happen. And now we are finally bringing the living room together. I'm so excited to show you guys. And it's so fun for you guys to, I guess, see this part of it because I'm currently sitting in my empty living room which will soon be a full living room hopefully but yeah I thought I would end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed another moving vlog um, definitely more home decor and moving stuff are on your way um, we're still like I said waiting for everything but once it's all in we're gonna be good to go yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one bye